What's going on guys? Today we're going to react to Jesse James West, the natural bodybuilder, the YouTube sensation, getting his ass beat by one of the best fighters in the UFC lightweight division, that is Michael Chandler, the machine. On this channel, I like to talk about regular, everyday people who are just getting into fighting because it's more realistic to watch because the majority of my audience don't actually fight and the majority of people in general don't do any sparring. It might seem like a lot of people do it, but really, not that many people do. So there's a lot to be learned when we're watching beginners fight, especially people who have lifted weights all their lives. And then all of a sudden they start trying to strike because that muscle can restrict you to a certain extent unless you lift weights and learn to fight at the exact same time simultaneously. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name's Sean Jones. I'm a personal trainer, gym owner, martial arts enthusiast. And I break down fights, self-defense, internet drama, and fitness related things. So in this video, we've got Jesse James West versus Michael Chandler and they're both going to spar. Let's get into it. This is Michael Chandler, one of the most dangerous UFC fighters in the world. I am Michael Chandler! For the next 24 hours, he'll be taking me through his daily routine to prepare to fight Conor McGregor. Who the f*** is that guy? Okay, so you get the point. Jesse James West spends a whole day with Michael Chandler. They go for some runs. He lifts some weights, do a strength and conditioning workout, eat some food, do an ice bath. But then this is the juicy part that we all want to see. How does someone with no fight experience, but who is in great shape, fare against a UFC professional fighter? Let's watch and find out. Thank God I'll never have to do this. Oh! Oh! Right through the nose! Ladies and gentlemen, we've made it this far. I'm about to become the ultimate fighter. T. Chandler in the house. You ready? Dude, yes. I know you think this is a kind of a joke. When I walk into this kind of sanctuary, uh -huh. this is where it gets real. The lifting was fun, you know, the Got ice it. barrel was fun. Yeah. This is where the rubber beats the road. So, okay. hope y'all are ready. Wish your boy luck. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. Is it an intimate thing between like coach and, and fighter? Yeah. If you're wrapping their Actually, hand? Actually, kinda it is, to be honest with you. What would you tell me Spread. if it was like a fight day? I'd say, listen, dude, there's no way you're gonna win this fight. <laughs> You have no chance whatsoever. Stop staring at me. I'm just looking at your eyes. <laughs> now it's time for Michael to teach me some basic fighting fundamentals that I would need in order to have a successful fight in the octagon. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I want to try to have this. Give me a death one. Oh. <laughs> All right, first off, straight out the gate, I'd like to say that Jesse's got some all right technique, to be fair. I don't know if he's got any fight experience. Most likely not. But he's throwing some decent punches. Let's watch again. Yep. Oh. That I would need in order to have a successful fight in the octagon. Yep. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I want to try to have this. Give me a death one. Oh! <laughs> the only thing that he's doing, and most beginners do this, and I'll give you a little bit of a demonstration now because I know he's like me demonstrations. With the low kicks, instead of throwing the low kick like this and then bringing it back there, what a lot of beginners do is they throw the low kick and bring it like this. So instead of kicking, boom, like that and bringing it back, they'll go, boom, and then kind of chamber the leg before they come back, almost like a flamingo or a karate kid. So you go, boom. It's hard to demonstrate in here. I've barely got any room, but I'll show you what I mean. So watch Jesse's kick right now. He throws it and then kind of hooks it back. You can see he's not trying to kick through the target. He's tapping it and then pulling the knee back towards him. As I say, like a flamingo. And also some of you guys say that I'm critical against people who've got no fight experience. I'm not being critical here. We're just learning. That's it. If you think I'm making this video to make Jesse James West look bad or to crap on him, you're dead wrong. We're doing it to learn. We point out the technique flaws that beginners make because the majority of people who watch these videos are beginners. How hard is it to grasp that through your friggin' thick skull? So watch Michael Chandler's leg. He throws that kick and then just brings it right the way back, the exact way that it came. Now, if we watch Jesse James's kick, good punches, by the way. So he throws it and then kind of pulls the knee up slightly and goes into the flamingo stance. That's just something that comes with practice, that's all. But really good punches, though, from Jesse. I think you're ready. Ready? Yes. What are we doing next? Fight. To fight. To spar. Who is my guy? I don't have a guy yet. We'll find him. I got the biggest, baddest dude in here. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab him. Okay, we'll get him. Dude, I can't believe I'm gonna have him. I'm literally gonna have an entire fight. I'm gonna have a match. Y'all, I'm scared for him. I'm scared. 
What? It's me, bro. It's him. Chandler said, I've got the biggest, baddest dude coming for you. And then steps back in the cage himself. I like it. You just walk back in. Oh, God. You got headgear? Oh, no. For me. No. <laughs> the fun and games were over. It was time for me to go against one of the UFC's most dangerous men in the world. <laughs> At this point, I hey, come on. He's actually not that bad, to be fair. He's got decent balance. He's got good punches. He's got a little bit of that neon energy. But you can tell he's young. He's a fast learner. <laughs> he's throwing body shots. Even that combination right there is actually pretty complex. So watch this little combo now. Jesse fakes the right hand. Boom. And then goes for the low kick. Now he just misses because Chandler gets onto him and he lifts his leg up. But then Jesse goes for a spin and back fist. Oh, damn. But then Chandler catches him with the jab. Was that the jab or the right hand? <laughs> also, we talk about muscle doesn't win fights. But Chandler is kind of jacked himself. He's just a little bit on the shorter side. But when you see him in his fights, he's like kind of like a mini tank. <laughs> At this point, I've forgotten everything that Michael taught me, and I'm literally just trying to stay alive. And yeah, that's usually how it works. You'll learn all the drills, you'll learn the moves, and then as soon as you start sparring, you forget everything. So you know when you're training, whether it's kickboxing, Muay Thai, or boxing, and you're drilling the combinations before you do the sparring? So left, right, low kick, left, right, low kick, and you do 10 that side, you might do 10 the other side, and you're doing these drills to build these patterns into you. And when you spar, you're meant to use those drills that you've just learned, that you've just went through, and practice them on a human body who's throwing combinations back at you. Yet, you find those combinations are nowhere to be seen. That's just because you haven't done enough of them yet. If you do 10,000 of the same combination, you'll find it's so much easier to use when you're actually sparring someone. That's why I had trouble when I was sparring in Dubai, because it had been so long since even throwing a punch, I couldn't think of any combinations. I was throwing kicks when I shouldn't have been throwing kicks. I was throwing punches from the wrong distance. I was leaving even my arms out there for me punches to be caught. I've actually got a video breakdown coming of my own sparring, so make sure you like the video and subscribe to see that. So Jesse, you could literally have Conor McGregor coach you for an entire week, and then you get in there and spar against someone or fight against someone, and you do forget half of the stuff that you've been taught. It's just the way it is. That's why you got to put years in the game. At this point, I've forgotten everything that Michael taught me, and I'm literally just trying to stay alive. Go! Oh. Right there. <laughs> he tried to catch him with, hey, look over there. That only works if you are Yoel Romero. He clips him. He's hurt. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was just about to say, decent low kick by Jesse, and then Chandler catches him with a nice straight right to the face, or was it a jab? Yeah, Chandler went southpaw and hit him with a right-hand jab. It was time to think outside of the box. <laughs> He's going for the Anthony Pettis jump off the side of the fence technique. <laughs> hey, not, not bad by Jesse. He's throwing them low kicks out. He's got a decent long hook. This is like the best beginner that I've seen in quite some time. I think if Jesse James West and Sneeko had a spar, I think Jesse would have a shot at winning, despite the fact that Sneeko's been training longer, unless Jesse's been training secretly behind the scenes to get himself ready for this video. I think if I had 2 million subscribers and I'm about to train with Michael Chandler, I'd probably want to do something before I get in the ring with him, just so I'm not completely a fish out of water. But put down in the comments who you think would win out of Jesse James West or Sneeko. Low kick, hook, low kick. Oh, I got him! I punched you on right in the face! <laughs> Let's watch that again. Oh, I got him! I punched you on right in the face! 
Yeah, very good, Jesse. But just before Michael Chandler starts absolutely battering you, let's take a look at that exchange again closely. So Jesse lands the jab, but look at what Michael Chandler is going for. Jesse throws the jab out. Michael Chandler is going for that left body hook. Now, fair play to Jesse. He catches Chandler with a nice little jab there. It kind of gets Michael Chandler off balance slightly. And also, Jesse's got his right hand up by his chin. I think he's done a little bit of boxing before. This isn't his first time. Jesse, if you're watching this, hit me up in the DMs. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think you've got some little secret fundamentals there. But anyway, yeah, so Chandler is setting up that left body hook. And Jesse, it doesn't really mean anything that you've touched the UFC fighter. That sounds wrong because everyone gets hit in a fight. Even the most elusive fighters to ever grace this earth still get hit. As they say, expecting to not get hit in a fight is like trying to not get wet when going for a swim. Oh my God! I punched you on the face! <laughs> oh. Right, and there you go. Chandler goes to the body again. And there it is. When Jesse jabbed Chandler in the face and Chandler went for that body hook and he barely missed, that's what he was going for right there. And you're seeing Chandler made a few adjustments and he got there eventually and dropped Jesse. So what do you guys think of Jesse James West sparring? I think that he's actually pretty all right, to be fair. We've got to remember he's going up against Michael Chandler, one of the best in the world, who's an absolute beast, a savage. But of course, Chandler is going extremely light here. He's not even trying. But I'm just saying, Jesse looked all right. He was keeping that right hand up as he was throwing the jab. He was going to the body. He was throwing nice little low kicks. He's done a spin and back fist. These are all signs that Jesse's done some form of training prior to this. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video. Who would win in a fight out of Jesse James West and Sneeko. If Jesse was to do any influencer boxing, who would be a good opponent for him? Maybe me, because my boxing's not that great. I'm more of a kicker. Like this video, check out my music in the description, and I'll see you all tomorrow.